Hello and welcome to this video. We are going to talk about uh, harmonic resynthesis and how you can use it in your instruments. And here we have a simple piano instrument. We are going to open the editor for this sample. And you can hear how it's a terrible sample because it's out of tune, it's constantly changing tune. We can check the pitch in this way. This is the analysis of the pitch. And then we can do this. So you can see how it's very easy to fix pitch problems. But then maybe you want to add some of the original vibrato back again. We have several tools available for harmonic synthesis. Here we want to enhance the pitch here and reduce it here. And then you can organically edit stuff in this way. And then of course you can do the wild stuff. And you see, this is harmonic resynthesis for uh, pitch. And uh, sometimes uh, we have uh, different kind of problems. You know, this this piano has a, a certain kind of attack. Maybe we would like to have a faster attack. So we are editing the time envelope. And maybe we want it uh, to be much slower. just so that you can see how it works. And so this is uh, harmonic resynthesis for time. And we're now setting it as it was. What we can do for time and pitch, we can also do for four month. So we can have uh, a kind of harpsichord. Or maybe we can get a kind of grand piano. And we can draw. So you, as you can see, it's very flexible. And out of one sample, you can create very different samples uh, um, very, in a very creative way. Uh, this kind of sample, this piano sample, still has one problem. We fixed the pitch, but... The problem here is that this is a very uh, quickly decaying sample. So let's say that I want to, to create a loop here. We would have a very different volume levels at the loop start and loop end. Sure, you, we can crossfade, but uh, that's more trick than a real solution. So once again, we can uh, check the amplitude of the waveform, which is this red envelope. And then we can simply say, we want to freeze the decay here, this way. And of course the noise floor comes out because uh, uh, we are changing continuously the volume of the waveform. And uh, notice how we are not really changing uh, a, volume, a volume envelope. We are drawing it, setting it directly. So we can do this kind of things. This is extremely interesting if you have uh, drum samples. Here I'm taking one, uh, one drum loop. And we are using the analysis. And you can do the wild stuff. Or you can directly change the transients. then maybe you want to do some and it's very simple and uh, very very intuitive we have also dedicated controls for uh, removing the dynamics out of the drone loops 
as you can see we have squeezed out any kind of dynamics out, out of this and um, there are other many controls we have seen them now at the uh, single sample level but uh, you can actually uh, use them at the uh, layer level by selecting multiple zones and then just adjusting the various harmonic synthesis parameters.